Hello, welcome to Ekideo. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, I'll be showing you a quick secret when you're performing your steel detailing in AutoCAD. So right now, this is a concrete pit as you can see this, this is a concrete pit and um, i'm doing a steel detailing for a vessel as you can see it here so as you can see this just now i have already cut out some details for that and then as you can see this is a detail of the fist saddle which is going to carry this um vessel here which is this this thing you're seeing here is the saddle plate and um, which is which is this on its elevation and then this is also the plate for that the, this is the plate this plate here is this that you are seeing here okay and this boats right now this boats is this boats here okay just a quick one let me now show you where the vessel the vessel is if you open to my navi swap now AutoCAD Navis work, yeah. So this is now the saddle, the concrete pit which I'm trying to um, bring out the structural, the, the structural details, as you can see that. So this is now the saddle plate. So in each of these saddle plates, one must be a fixed and one must be a sliding. So this is a fixed one and this is the sliding one. So right now I am now meant to draw or how to produce the full detailing for this saddle plate which they will use for construction basically in steel in steel um in steel structure they call it fabrication drawings so i'm trying to now create a steel fabrication drawing for for this saddle um for this concrete pit right and also you can see also these other places okay so this is just to show you a quick uh preview of of that but first of all, what I'm doing right now is to show you um, a quick secret where you're doing your steel detail, okay? And that co comes to this place just now. So if you look at this right now, let me just show you something. Um, no, this is the boat, not, not this one. Okay, we can still apply that here or here uh, or here or still on this place. Okay, or still here too. Okay, so right now, let me assume that I am trying to, to now detail or show this plate thickness. And then I'll just go now and say, if I want to dimension this now, you let me just change to my um, dimension. This is K what? This is K120, so dimension and change to a scale of my dimension. 20 years, that's true. And then set current and then okay, and then close. So right now, if I now go for my dimension right now on this place, if I click on this place now, and then I click on this place and I click on this place, and you can see that this is because of the scale and because of the uh be, be, because of the drawing is very tiny, it is is not looking well. So right now I'll have to now bring it out on this side here and keep it here. Now you know that you have to show that this 12 is a thickness because if you just leave it this way, somebody can be confused. So you have to up, um, impute this um, thickness, um, this this um, thickness stuff here. So right now, if I now go to this place here, most most people can can go as far as doing it this way by copying the test, copying the test here, coming out and then come here and um, change this test to um, thickness or thick. You know that in steel, in steel detailing, this THK simply means thickness. So you must not write it in full. So you now come here and then place this here. That's how most people will like, will like do it. But this is not the right way to do it. There is a fantastic way for you to get this perfectly. As if as 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 if you see this, this this thick is with these two F, they are drawn together, and this also is um different as you can see these are different um texts but this 
is the same step the text as you can see that so whichever one i click it clicks the two so this tick also came with the dimension but this one is just a test that we have done that is what most people used to do and that is not a standard way to to when you're performing a steel detailing or cutting so right now i'm going to trash this because this now is not right so i'm trashing this right now back to its dustbin okay so right now let me now show you how to do that and uh, most of you also can can think that okay uh we can do that by by doing it this way by doing it something like this and then um double clicking on this test here and then going here and then type um thk thk and then now go and click this will not work this is how it will look like and this uh, most of the times if you don't have space here maybe space around this place you will see that this test will not be clashing with something else so had it been we did this some let me say had it been we did this something close to this place here you will see that the test will be clashing with um something else let me just come here now and place this here and then now come here and then now do this yeah let me just do this sorry uh, let me just do this now and then come and type that um thk here you will see that this is how the test will appear you can see that it is slashing here so that's why you have to know this simple trick so right now this this will also go to trash okay and then right now now the next option that you can say that you want to do is to click here and then press your enter key to to like bring the test down which you will think it is the right way but i tell you is not the right way because if i click okay right now you see that this is how it will look like which is not which is perfectly also not okay um as as what i'm going to show you here so right now what is now the right one so i will quickly also trash this now into the dustbin okay so right now the right way and the perfect way now is that if you click on this place that dimension whenever you want to dim, dim, the dimension a tiny um let me say um a very tiny space you have to then you now want to apply a test to it either thickness or let me say that thickness or let me say you, you want to put uh let me say um typical then you have to do this right now to add that test you just click on this place and then take just you can see that this this text now is not showing here for us to type but we want it to start from the the form just after the two so you have to go all this way down and take this text here but you can you can use your uh you can use your cursor or you can use your arrow key arrow key forward and then press that now before i begin to type my um text now which is the thk which is this thk i'll first of all take it off first and type this simple trick and that simple trick is to use slash you have to press slash first when you press this this slash this slash key then on your cap lock your cap lock must be on else it will not work on your cap lock and then press a capital letter x not s but x x as in cross x so don't don't once you press your slash and then press your capital letter x automatically this software autocad we know that you are trying to put a test below so as you can see that right now it has just gone below so i cannot come and type thk and then press I can then click on OK here and automatically, boom, we have our test here. Can you see that? So let me just do it again. If you come here right now and dimension now on this place here, from here to here, and then you now want to um, just click here and then first come here. And then let me now come here and click here now and then take your this your cursor out to the back of the 12 and then press your slash key and then on your cap lock and then press capital letter x and then type what you want to type right now thk and then press ok and you will see just that down that's perfect so right now with this now i have shown you how to do that how i got all this right now and then i'll take off this right now so the the next way again to where, where this can be useful is for tests like this as you can see that and also for text like this let me assume that you want to um um call out this now let me say qc qa right now and then to call out this just now you have to do something like this now and then do something like this by clicking here and then um click somewhere here yeah that's fine and now you want to show this plate thickness which in this case this is um this thickness is 12 yeah 12 12 thickness 
and don't forget that this k is different so let me just match properties right now and then we do, let me just change my k so this k is k so 1 is to 10 so right now i choose the k 10 uh i've already set all my dimension style and case okay now again right now i will not come here and remove this and then i'll type um ql enter and then click on this right now on the object come out here and then do this okay and then i want now put that value here so i'll come here just now sorry sorry let me just do this just now let me say i want to that one can also be used on this place let me just say okay let me see if you want to do this now um okay yeah if i want to dimension um okay this yes we can use that here so if on dimension this is k one to five let me see one to five so the enter one is to five is here yes one to five okay so if i want to now use this here now i can quickly remove this first and then come here click here and then click here now and then come to this place now click at this place click here and then take this my cursor forward and then type slash capital letter x and then type typical tp typ and then put a dot and then press or just leave a dot and then press okay so you cannot see that this is how you cannot see that this test now comes with this what this means is that this dimension is um, typical for every other dimension that has this same shape so that's what that's what this means okay so right now you can see the the um the uh, various ways for you to do that how to use that okay and uh, we can also do it by using uh let me say if we have to dimension um something like this let me just say um um something like this okay yeah i think we, if, if we have these two footings like this now on this drawing now we can do that by just simply um clicking on this and then coming to this place now clicking here and clicking here now and putting this here if, if i if i want to them sorry this drawing looks bigger than this okay, let me just use a bigger scale for this drawing 25 okay it's okay and then set current and then come here and if i want to dimension this place now knowing that i have two footings uh, let me just put this here knowing that i have two footings here and i want to create another dimension again for this other one here I can just quickly go and just come here and then click on this right now take this um this my text um cursor here back to the back to the last place here type slash and then x capital the x and type typical tp typ and then i'll press here enter so anyone right now you can see that this text now is together so anyone right now reading this drawing or look at this drawing right now we now know that um any shape of this kind of footing is the same has the same um width and i can do that also with the depth by showing the depth also by showing the depth also this to this this is three one and then i'll come here right now and then click on this just now and then come here type, type my slash and capital letter x and then type tp typ and then i'll click here okay so you can see that you can now see how to make use of that command slash and capital letter x that gives you a perfect way so basically we this is a still um detailing and performing for a client basically and then although we are also um about to launch our website we are we are just unable to launch it on 7th of may but because that's because we are trying to um make it fantastical for you guys so um we are still creating some courses in there but before this may is over we pray that we will be able to launch that and which i'm going to guide you and which i'm going to show you guys when we are when we have done that okay so right now um we have just done this perfectly as you can see that this detail just now is this shadow plate that you are seeing um here yes here so basically now i have shown the the like the boat connecting with this with this and shadow um plate and this shadow pedestal so i've shown the boats in there which you can which you have seen the uh, at this place here okay so basically still 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 detailing is very very um simple but it's very, very time consuming 
because you must show every details because it is the drawing that they will use to perform um it is the drawing that they will use to perform the construction so it, if you didn't show any any kind of detail then it will have issues as you can see that i have to cut out these m details from here which is i call it um four day four and then brought it here to now begin to show the full details i can also see that how i cut out this both detail here this both detail here for detail three and then come here to now do the proper detailing showing the length of everything so this is how to perform still detail. you must show everything in details that is why you need simple tricks that's why i, I just going to show you guys the simple tricks on how to get all this perfect as you can see that and um yeah this also and this also so you you need um card experience a lot and simple tricks in in them um, de detailing to be able to get or to be fast in your steel detailing it also applies in concrete in concrete de detailing too although we have softwares now that just give us automatic drawings and then we are good to go so right now thank you so much and god bless you we love you and then goodbye thanks and also, before I forget, if you have not, um, if you have watched this video and you have not subscribed to our channel, I would say you should subscribe to our channel because here on Ekidel will teach good um, knowledge about civil and structural engineering. So I would say you should just pause the video right now and click on the subscribe button and turn on your video, turn on your video notifications so that so that you will be you will be able to know whenever we post videos. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you. We we'll love you and then goodbye.